Hey guys, it's Frozen back at you one more again on this wonderful Wild Out Wednesday. If you see that like and subscribe button, can you go ahead and press it, please? Is this, this is your first time at my channel. Thank you and welcome. Um, today my video is going to be about Twin Flame 101. If you're going through a negative circumstance, do not let that mess keep you down, please. Do not let it keep you down. Um, today I'm going to tell you about my current experience that I'm dealing with now, short current experience or issue, whatever you want to call it, um, and the techniques that are best when you are feeling like you are dead in a funk, like you feel like you cannot control your life, okay? Um, my situation, um, it's, it's just like everything that I'm going through right now on top of everything else and dealing with like bazillion things all at one time it it's became complex a little bit but i'm gonna make it through but um dealing with like my dad's anniversary and then my birthday it was just like really crazy it was just like a blessing to actually see 40 it really was and it was kind of like a bittersweet moment because i was wanting to celebrate family and it was just an interesting thing is that um i don't know if i mentioned in my last video that me and my aunt tika have the same birthday i did not know that well actually i did know and i just forgot about it, it slipped my mind but um it was just uh, i went ahead and went on her facebook and um told her happy birthday and hopefully you know i said please check your inbox so i, I know i messaged let to call out like a thousand messages <laughs> and pictures and stuff for her to please contact me or whatever but um she actually had it but i didn't feel bad because there's a lot of her close friends to try to tell her like hey can you check your inbox so i'm just like ooh, at least i don't feel bad because i'm not the only one she does that too but um but y'all yeah, was just up in my feelings the other day. It was like after my birthday because it was like a blessing to actually hear that my family, you know, they were actually able to get that, you know, the situation with my dad's estate situated. So that was a blessing. But it was just kind of a, a bittersweet moment because I was just like, man, you know, I wish I could have been home and been able to celebrate all with them or whatever. And it, it just really put me in my, my feelings because I'm just like, I don't like the fact that somebody's controlling my life like that. It's just like you're trying to treat me like a puppet. And, you know, you deal with me when you want to deal with me. And with that situation, it really, you know, it really upset me. Like, I thought I was over it. But then it's just like, it felt like ultimate betrayal because it was like, okay, first it was, you know, my dad's passing. And then it was the funeral, and I wasn't able to get closure from that. And then the tributes, I thought I was, you know, would be able to try to get there. And um, it, it was just a thousand things. I had, like, a really bad community attack. I really did. And it was, I, I got up in my feelings, and I got on the phone, and I expressed them to my adopted dad. And I really had to go to God for forgiveness for that, because I was speaking out of anger. You know, because I was just like, you know, God, I am human. I have every right to feel this way. This man is just like, he has everything he he could to basically take me home and let me go home and meet my family. And he just doesn't want to do that. And it's just like, it angers me because he'll still deny it to this day. Even though he, is, he has admitted to other people, you know, him and his wife has bragged about it. And, and people have, you know, said stuff to me and made fun of me about certain situations. And... I had to get through that because it was just like with that attack I was seeing like everything this man has put me through and it, it was just like I thought I was about to lose my aunt mind all over again. I'm just like please God I can't go through this again. I cannot go rock bottom like further rock bottom to the point where I lost my mind. So when you feel like you're not in control we are all like the masters of our reality we are we have a choice on how we respond to things that we have to deal with on a daily, uh, daily basis we have you have a way of responding to it you can either let it make you you can either be a creator of your your life or, on how you respond to things or you're not and you shouldn't be a person that just wants to stay in that funk you really don't because I, 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 I know i want to be a happy person i've always been a happy person like when i make my videos even though i've been through some 
really messed up stuff, I still try to keep a smile on my face. Because if I know I want to motivate somebody and say, hey, you know, even though I'm going through my current situation, I try, I try to keep a smile on my face. Because what I'm going through, it, it, it's just like, it doesn't have to define me. It doesn't have to, you know, like, woe is me. You know, I, I don't want to be that type of person that, um, that stays in a negative place because it, it's not going to get you anywhere. It, it'll probably get you dead or something like that. It's not something that's not going to be good. But, you know, I had to really ask for forgiveness for that because it's just like, even though they have not apologized for all the the detrimental stuff they put me through, I still have to just heal. I have to heal. Even though I don't have the closure, which is hard to do, I had to ask one of my my brother and friends, like, how do you forgive somebody? How do you get closure even though you don't heal? And they're like, oh, 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 wow. You know, it's like, that's kind of hard, especially when the person is not trying to confess to you. And it's bad when they're, like, being able to talk themselves. So, um, but I know I had, I had to really just heal from that. I really do. And, um, it's a daily basis, it's a daily process, like, I'm working process, I'm like, God, you know, you gotta work with me here, <laughs> you really gotta work with me, because it's a lot to take in, and for me to be actually sitting here and be able to tell you this, and saying I didn't lose my mind out of your life, <laughs> and tell you that there haven't been days I was ready to just, ready to tear up, like, like my dad did in Purple Rain, but I already know, after seeing all that and all that, I'm not trying to clean up all that, but see, that was a movie, so he didn't have to clean all that up, <laughs> so I, I'm like, uh-uh, I ain't about to do all that, because that, that means I'm going to have to clean that stuff up, but the best techniques that I do when I get upset like this, I put my upbeat music on, if I'm not listening to Pandora or whatever, if you got a favorite tape, play this. Put that on, have a relaxing and back. If you have that detox stuff, you put in your water or especially some lilac oil or some lilac um, Epsom salt, that is a good thing for a bath because it, it's supposed to absorb all the stress that you're going through and it's supposed to take all that away. And I mean, that is the best thing. Because I mean, that, that feels the next best thing to heaven. I ain't never been to heaven before, but I, I know that was where it was supposed to be. <laughs> when I took that, that Epsom salt bath like that. Or um, dance, roller skate. You know, if you have one of the friends that you have something very good in common with. Like if you have, like, like if you're an empath or an indigo or a twin flame. If you have somebody that, you know, kind of resonates with you. And you have something in common with. You know, ask me. To a park, or you want to go play some basketball, tennis, or something like that, do something active. You know, if you can have somebody that you know you can go exercise with just to have a partner or whatever, you kickboxing. Um, that I've done that before, and that was oh my gosh, that was a, a very good stress reliever. Um, meditate, pray. Um, Oh my gosh, be one with nature. Um, me, I cannot stick my feet in all uh, grass because it seems like I'm allergic to everything. But I just try to walk around in nature sometimes because it makes it helps you clear your energy. Plus, it gives you clarity on more things that you're probably going through and gives you answers. And you get to talk to your spirit guides better that way because mine keeps telling me, you know, you know the things that are going on and you have to trust and believe just because the things are going on right now don't mean that they're going to stay this way and trust me what are all the blessings we got for you oh my gosh baby you can't even imagine i keep on hearing my blessings are going to bring me to my knees and i, I keep I, i'm going to believe that so um I, I was i couldn't make a video the other day because i was really feeling it so i'm i'm just like i like i told you guys i'm not going to make any videos like that because i try to stay positive because you're going to go through things and it, it's like, it just seems like people around me right now are going through so much right now. So I send so many prayers and blessings to them. You know, I pray for you guys too, especially, you know, people that I know and that I don't know that feed me and then they don't. Um, I try to always keep people in my prayers and keep lifted by, you know, send it to them because there's so much, many of us need them right now. And um, I'm not going to keep you guys up. Yeah, I know you guys probably got stuff to do and i will talk to you later but remember pray for each other send out love and blessings you know if you have violent prayer if you'd like to but please like and subscribe and thank you for stopping by if this is your first time stopping by um 
And please come back, you know, um, if you can, just, you know, leave me a comment. Hit me up. I would love that. Um, if you have any current experiences about Kundalini or any twin flame issues or um, any oneness that you can you would like to share with me, I would love to hear from you. And I will talk to you later, my beloveds. Namaste, love and blessings, and life. Peace. Wow.